Theories of Second Language Processing. Now, let us look at the theories of uh, second language learning that focus on information processing. So, the main focus of proce information processing theories applied to second language um, are what are the factors that control in the way in which second language is learned? So, they are interested how the learners use the input that is given to them related to second language in their minds. So, how is the information actually processed? There are two approaches, main approaches. There are several in between, but there are two main approaches that we will be talking about later. And these relate, both of them relate to information processing. However, the route of studying that information processing they undertake is different. The first approach is process processability theory. And the second one is perceptual saliency approach. So, what is um, processability uh, approach? Processability approach and perceptual saliency approaches are different in some dimensions. However, there are some basic assumptions that both of them share. And these basic assumptions are A, that human beings actively process the input, informational input that is given to them. So they process the information in their mind, they store it and then in their minds, in their memories and they retrieve it. They take it out from their memories, they retrieve it to use it in different contexts. This would mean that this is a departure from behavioral approaches, if you would remember that we studied earlier, in which we said that language learning happens by response to a given stimuli. So over here, the learners, uh, uh, what happens in the mind of the learner, the processing that goes on is given much more salience rather than regarding language learning as the learning of a behavior similar to that of uh, to that done by uh, undertaken by animals another basic assumption is that this approach and all cognitive approaches also do not pay much attention to the social context of the learning of the second language. So whatever information is coming from the social context is only regarded as information, simple information which is again processed by the minds of the learners. So it is uh, assumed that all stimuli, all that is there in the context of the learner, the teacher, the books, the lecture, whatever the child is hearing or listening, what is going on, is simply processed in the mind as information. And this information processing leads to learning. And it is argued that when new information comes in and pro is processed, it results in the reconfiguring of the previous learning, appropriation. This is another word which is used in second language learning context that whenever new information comes, the old knowledge is reconfigured in the light of the new uh, knowledge. But this would also mean that whatever the child has already learned, that is the prior knowledge of the child or the learner, that would affect the processing of the information and the way the information is actually undertaken and the importance given to it and how it is processed will be affected by the previous knowledge in the mind of the learner.
So the basic argument that these approaches um, uh, put forth is that individual memory capabilities might vary. So different individuals might have different capabilities for of memory, different um, uh, uh, different capabilities in terms of storing information. Yet the processing mechanism that each individual takes place takes place in the minds of each individual is the same. So the processing mechanisms are the same. However, individuals differ in the memory span that they might have at their disposal. Uh, 